Hello my beautiful buddies and welcome back to Let's Play Pleasant View. Now, I've got some really sad, sad news. Um, this is the very last episode, this is the finale of Let's Play Pleasant View, but I've got good news because I'm going to do a slideshow of all the pictures I've taken throughout the series and like give you guys a little update about what everybody's up to, as well as there's like a really, really big juicy surprise at the end that you guys will absolutely love. Like you guys are going to be so shook. I'm going to fly your wigs off. <laughs> it's going to be good. Trust me, it's going to be good. Um... And two, like there's always a possibility of this series going further. Like if we ever get university, I don't want to spoil like the ending yet, but like if we ever get university and we want to like follow like um, Dustin and Angela and um, you know, like Lilith and then what's his faith, Dirk, you know, like we could do that too. There's so many things that we could do. So this is not the end and we always have my throwback save file that we're going to re, um, not redo, I mean, we're going to keep updating because now we're going to go into Strange Town. But enough with this yabbering, you guys want to know answers. You guys want to know answers. What happened to Skip Broke? Because that is our very, very, very last, um, like, I guess like chapter to like this whole story um because if you guys don't know spoiler alert um we found out what happened to bella we did bella um came back the aliens were using her for a like i want to say kind of like a skincare thing they want to like use her, they want to basically market like like some new like aging re-aging thing to like make people stay more beautiful for longer and they were like using bella as the model and they were testing also cloning um which will actually play into something a little bit later at the very very end um but yeah as i was saying um so she um came back and all thanks to um Nina, Nina, Nina told Cassandra the whole deal and what was going on behind her back with her sister and Dawn, um, which are now in jail. They are properly in jail. But I bet you guys are really confused. Like, why is Dustin wearing a jail outfit? Like, who, who's this guy? Like, and like, what's going on? Because obviously some things have changed. Um, Bay? I, I always get confused with what to call him. Yes, Bay. Bay grew up and so did Caden. I'm not like it's been a while since I played this, so I'm not sure if you guys have seen them growing up yet or not. But yeah, basically, we are up to date with what I said. I also do want to show you guys that the house has gotten a lot better, nicer looking. Like it looks like a like a normal house and not so run down anymore. Um, which I will tell you why too, but I'm just, I guess I'm going over it just a little bit. Um, but yeah, basically, this is what happened, guys. So hold on to your hats, it's a wild ride. So, as you may, may or may not know, um, Brandy here, yes, Miss Brandy, um, Brandy was in a very, very, very toxic relationship with Skip Broke. Um, and if you guys don't know who Skip Broke is, Skip Broke was her previous husband. Um, and I can probably show you him on the family tree if I could find it here. Bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Okay, there we go. Um, is he still on here? I don't know. They might have called him. No, there he is. There he is. There he is. So Skip Broke is right here. And her and Skip Broke didn't always have a bad relationship. Um... In the early years, it was good, you know, things were happy, things were good, things were great, but some bad things happened when they started to get into some financial trouble. Once they started getting into financial trouble, um, Brandy was um, kind of like pulling the, you know, she was like kind of like holding up the household. She had a restaurant it was like her dream to open a restaurant she finally finally opened it oh okay hold on no one likes me anymore no one will ever like me why bother with anything anymore i will always love you okay <laughs> anyway um and she was kind of like pulling it in because like things were going good for the business for a while and things like that but um meanwhile skip 
um, while he was kind of like feeling, I don't know, feeling like he kind of let his family down because he wasn't doing so well at work and Brandy was making more money than him, he turned to alcohol um, and he became a juiceaholic. I guess I should say, um, and that's when things started to get kind of bad. Things started to turn um, sooner, sooner than later. He started to um, cheat on his wife, Brandy, um, and Brandy did her best to like hide this from the kids. You know, um, of course, um, little little Caden here wasn't like born yet. Like he wasn't even a thing yet, um, even a thought. I guess I should say, and Bay was very, very little. He was probably like a baby or tot, um, and you know that made like Dustin kind of like a child, gonna be an early teen. Um, so yeah, she did her best what she could do, but things started to get even worse when Skip started to abuse her, like physically abuse her, and she Brandy, Brandy wanted divorced. She wanted a divorce. She felt like it was the best. Um, you know, like the best situation for everybody. Um, it, she obviously knew that like Skip was very unstable and he could not take care of the kids anymore. And it was just a very, very, very toxic relationship. But Skip for years denied her and denied her and denied her and denied her. And, um, she didn't know what to do, you know? Like, she did her best, like, keeping away from the kids. She she tried her best, like, um, you know, like, keeping the household together. But eventually, she just had to sell the business. And that's kind of, like, where her dreams, like, oh, that's why she doesn't have a job. Because, like, she had to basically put her dreams on hold to, like, save the house. So, like, so the house wouldn't get foreclosed. Um, and then she, she one day um, met... Um, Joseph. So Joseph um, was a um, a businessman. He was a law. He's a lawyer. Um, I know. I know. It says like he was a businessman, businessman, lawyer, whatever. You guys and I get what I'm saying. There's no like lawyer career in The Sims 4, unfortunately. So that's what I did. Um, and she like went to go talk to him about this problem that she was having about like how could she get out of this marriage because it was not working out well. Um, Skip was like cheating on her for years um, at that point. Um, and she just had like enough of it um so he was giving meanwhile he was giving her legal advice um i guess things just got the best of brandy and joseph they started kind of well not a relationship but like they didn't purposely she didn't purposely want to cheat on skip but at that point they were kind of well in her mind they were like done for years but that still doesn't make what she did what did any better like she Felt, feels like this is like probably her most like deepest regret that she's ever done um ever and she knew that she did wrong by like cheating on broke even though that he cheated on her didn't make it any better but yeah things just got out of hand and soon she became pregnant with little Caden here um so eventually you know she she had to tell her husband skip and skip went haywire he went crazy he would he basically told her that you abort the child or um i'm gonna kill you and she she wasn't like she didn't think he was actually serious you know like he was an alcoholic and he was cheating on her for years but she didn't think he would actually kill her it like it was very 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 like like bad like guys the story is so dark and i i'm sorry by the way too if you guys are kind of triggered by this i guess i should have said something before sorry um but if you guys are triggered by this i guess you should maybe skip to the very end um but yeah anyway um that's kind of like like what happened happened there and sooner or later um skip was in the backyard um and he was holding a gun um, he just came back from one of his, like, flings, um, and one of his flings is out actually outside, like, she watched this all go down, um, she was outside right here with, like, um, like, her car, and he had a gun in his hand, and he walked out from the car, and she said, hey, like, what's going on? Brandy, and, and then she said, and then he said, I'm gonna kill you, so this problem is done you know we were not gonna have this problem anymore no i don't have to see this child that isn't mine um and she said said i wanted a divorce for years and you've been cheating on me what no what does what you've been doing make it any better you know like like we're both at a wrong why don't we just end this and he's like we're gonna end this right now 
And meanwhile, a lot of people think Brandy actually killed Skip because they had like an unfinished pool. But that's not the case. That unfinished pool um, was there because they didn't have enough money to afford start expanding it and like doing it larger. Um, Because like they always wanted a pool. But yeah, like I said, they were in financial trouble. So that's what happened there. So everyone's rumors were wrong, by the way, guys. Um, And he was holding a gun and he was going to shoot her. And that's where... I guess Dustin's life of crime basically started because he kind of came out there and he started the fight with his fight with his father and basically like he was kind of like holding him like over the edge of the pole meanwhile he was like trying to get the gun out of his hand um like you know like trying to get it away but he accidentally shot it and it hit Skip's head and he kind of like fell backwards into the pool and that's how skip died um yeah it was it's really traumatic like i said this story is like very 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 like violent very very traumatic um but it's gonna have a happy ending guys i promise um and then brandy basically said because joseph really really loved her like he loved her and he's like and he wanted to give her money and he wanted to save the situation and he's like and then he's like like we're gonna get you out of this mess and things like that and um and he wanted to be there for the child and things like that but she said no and she's like you have to cut off all communications with me we have to pretend like you don't know me don't come near me because i don't want to drag you into this mess um and Joseph tried contacting her a lot, like he did. He tried contacting her so much. But, um, you know, she eventually, he eventually knew that what Brandy was doing was probably for the best. So they only communicated with each other through, like, a P.O. box. And he would, like, write letters, and they would write letters back and forth with, like, anonymous names and things like that. And the children didn't know anything about Joseph at the time. Um and that's kind of like why dustin started to feel like he needed to basically i guess like i guess like be like the man of the house and you know like get money through like i guess him being in like the criminal career and stealing and things like that because he was like I can't bring my mom into this. My mom is giving me uh, giving up so much for me. You know, like she could go to jail for me, and he's like, and I can't let her do that. And that's kind of like why he joined the criminal career. And you know, and no one really, 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 really believed in him. But Angela, Angela was like the only one that ever knew really the truth of like what happened. Um, and she believed him, and she will always believe, and she always believed him. Um, and things just caught up and caught up you know like and months later he went to juvie um and now he got released because the case is now closed um the truth is now up now out there because one of skips kind of um skips whatchamacallit is like other woman his side chick there you go his side piece whatever <laughs> it like kind of came forth and basically vouched for what happened that night and yeah the case is closed and joseph was allowed to come back um to his family now now that this mess is all over um and he supplied so much money into going into this house because now this house actually looks like a normal house now like it doesn't look like so run down anymore it's it's really nice and beautiful i'll turn on all the lights so you guys can like see see with this like what's going on auto lights auto lights all lights no not all lights turn on all lights there you go and things are just good now you know things are just just a-okay things are great um but yeah that's basically kind of like what happened the skip bro guys and yeah it was really really traumatic and yeah i just i i like want to go forth and forth and tell you guys like more about what's like what's gonna like happen to these guys in the future but i don't want to spoil anything um but there is something that dustin really 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 wants to do before the episode is over something that's kind of been on his mind a lot lately so we're gonna go and follow him to uh you know we're gonna go and follow him to the whole um 
to like a special spot i guess what i'm trying to say i'm sorry i'm like so lost for words just because i've been like thinking so much about how am i get how am i gonna record this last episode and i've just gotten just so emotional like so emotional about it guys and i just i don't know i just i just i'm just a little sad because i'm gonna miss these guys i'm gonna miss these guys but you know what like i said it doesn't have to be the end and you know what if it is the end it's a, it ended on a really great note i think um and yeah i'm just gonna we're gonna go follow dustin before i start rambling off now um so i'll see you guys there okay guys so we are back here with angela and dustin um and it's it's a rainy day like it's definitely a rainy day today and basically angela's like why why are we back here you know and dustin get that like really silly look off your face there we go that's a good picture and she's like basically like why are we here you know um and he's like i have something to show you um and yeah it's gonna be quite big because if you guys don't know this is like their favorite spot to hang out at um throughout the series um they always always came here as little kids they and angela just thought this place was just so beautiful she always had a dream of like getting married here um and uh, they right now they're very very young um to put things in perspective um uh, Angela is like graduating high school and I and I think since like he's been in juvie I'm gonna say that he graduated high that he's graduated high school too but like in a different way I don't know if he got his like GED or something like that you guys know what I'm talking about right um and I'm gonna talk about like what's gonna go off with them like later like the whole group like with Lilith and Dirk and all of them and like the adults and everything but just for now just let's just say that um they're they're going off to college um because they are but i'll tell you guys what's going on but basically since that everyone's going off to college in the fall he kind of basically wants to make things like really really official with her and basically promise him himself to her and say that hey I don't want anyone else but you, babe. Like you're you're the one for me and this this promise ring is my promise to you that one day that when we're older and we have our college educations that we are going to that we are going to get get married. We're going to get married. Um and yeah, this this is just so sweet. Oh my god okay so basically that just happened um and yeah they're now like i guess like in a uh, really really good relationship now now they're, they're gonna get engaged someday and yeah it just there, there's just a lot going going on on as well because like she's very very sad for a reason you guys are gonna learn very very soon but yeah um this is basically just like the dream you know like the dream team they're Someday that's like I know she's no she looks really sad right now, but you guys are gonna learn why she's sad. But basically this is just like a good a good moment, like a good heartfelt moment to end up with because like they're they're finally gonna be together forever. And I'm just so so happy that 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 could be, you know, like this this is actually a thing, you know, like Angela and Dustin are now gonna live her happily ever after after all the bad things that have happened um and yeah i just i just wanted to do that for you guys at the end for you guys that shipped them so hard because i know i definitely did um yeah and i will talk to you guys later make sure you guys comment write and subscribe um you know for all of the fun updates i'm gonna do because like you know remember we have the slideshow at the very very end we have this shookest theme that you guys are gonna see for lack of better words <laughs> and we're also um gonna be rebuilding strange town of ronneville and sim city um with the herbs so yeah just there's so much fun stuff in store for us and yeah i'll talk to you guys later um, so enjoy the ending i love you guys bye bye bye